Dimensional Analysis, Buckingham Pi Theorem. The Buckingham Pi Theorem was named after the American Edgar Buckingham. It states that if there are n-dimensional variables in a dimensionally homogeneous equation, described by j fundamental dimensions, they may be grouped in k equals n minus j dimensionless groups. Each dimensionless group is called pi. And the relation among the dimensionless groups will be written as follows. Function of pi 1, pi 2, pi 3, until pi k equals 0. Or pi 1 is a function of pi 2, pi 3, until pi k. Or pi 2 is a function of pi 1, pi 3, until pi k. And so on and so forth. All these presentations are similar. This method is also known as method of repeating variables. As an illustration of the Buckingham Pi theorem, let's take the case of the drag force on a smooth sphere. Step 1 consists of listing the parameters in the problem. The drag force on a smooth sphere is mainly influenced by the sphere diameter d, the fluid velocity v, the fluid density rho, and the fluid viscosity mu. There are five dimensional variables in this case. Thus, n equals 5. Step 2 consists of listing the primary dimensions of each parameter. To obtain the dimension of a parameter, sometimes it is easier to start by obtaining its unit. From the unit, the translation to the dimension can be easily done. The unit for drag force is newton, or kilograms meter per second square. If m represents the dimension for mass, l for length, and t for time, then the dimension for the drag force is mlt power negative 2. The unit for diameter is meter, then its dimension is L. For fluid velocity, it is meter per second. The dimension is lt power negative 1. The unit for fluid density is kilograms per meter cube, then its dimension is ml power negative 3. And, the unit for fluid viscosity mu, is kilograms per meter second. Hence, its dimension is ml power negative 1, t power negative 1. Here we observe that there are only three primary dimensions involved in all parameters, which are m, l, and t. Thus, j equals 3. Step 3 consists of calculating the number of dimensionless groups. Having n equals 5 and j equals 3, then, the number of dimensionless groups will be 5 minus 3 or k equals 2. The two dimensionless group are pi 1 and pi 2. Step 4 consists of choosing the repeating variables. As a hint, it is generally advantageous to choose primary variables that relate to mass, geometry, and kinematics. Among these parameters, the one that is related to mass is the fluid density rho. The one which is related to geometry is the sphere diameter d. And the one which is related to kinematics is the fluid velocity v. Hence, the three repeating variables are rho, d, and v. Step 5 consists of constructing the dimensionless groups. 
each of pi must contains the three repeating variables. And we add to each pi each of the remaining variables. Pi 1 and pi 2 are both dimensionless groups. For this, we put powers for each of the repeating variables. Let's put a1 and a2 as the power for rho. b1 and b2 as the power for d. And c1 and c2 as the power for v. So, our pi's are pi1 equals rho power a1 times d power b1 times v power c1 times f. Pi2 equals rho power a2 times d power b2 times v power c2 times mu. Let's solve for pi1. Pi1 is dimensionless group. We can say that its dimension is m power 0, l power 0, and t power 0. We replace rho with its dimension. d with its dimension. v with its dimension. and f with its dimension. Now let's rearrange this by dimensions. Sum up the power for each dimension. From here we obtain three equations with three unknowns. The three equations are Equation from the power of m Equation from the power of L. And equation from the power of T. And the three unknowns are A1, B1, and C1. These equations can be easily solved. Giving A1 equals minus 1, C1 equals minus 2, and B1 equals minus 2. Let's replace the power coefficients in the pi1 with these values. The final expression for pi1 is f over rho d square v square. Now let's work on pi2. Just like what we did with pi1, here we analyze the dimension of this relation. We determine a2, b2, and c2 in order to have dimensionless group pi2. We replace rho with its dimension. d with its dimension. v with its dimension. And mu with its dimension. Rearranging the power and solving it. We obtain A2 equals negative 1. C2 equals negative 1. And B2 equals negative 1. Hence, the expression of pi2 is mu over rho vd. We know that rho vd over mu is Reynolds number. Hence pi2 equals 1 over Reynolds number, or Reynolds number power negative 1. Finally, step 6 is to write the final functional relationship. We have both the expression for pi1 and pi2. Pi1 equals f over rho v square d square. Pi2 equals Reynolds number power negative 1. By taking the relationship in the form of pi1 is a function of pi2, the final relation is f over rho v square d square is a function of Reynolds number.